Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my show. My name is Zeng the Master Kid. I'm a producer, I'm a graphic designer, I'm a journalist by profession. Now, uh, since I started launching my media company, I have always been passionate about supporting coastal music industry. Now that I am actually uh, having my place in Nairobi, uh, lots of uh, musicians from the coast have always been complaining that they are doing good music from the coast, but their music doesn't go nationwide. Yeah? So, a number of factors have actually been blamed. Uh, some of them are saying that their coastal music doesn't actually appeal to the taste of Nairobi music. Others blame on the producers, others blame on management. But as a producer, I feel like um, the blame should not be put on anyone, but the blame should actually be uh, put on uh, strategies that the musicians at Coast do what? Do cultivate. We understand that the music business nowadays has actually uh, changed and keeps on changing. We have trends in place. Gone are the days where musicians used to just walk into the uh, recording label, do music and let the music actually sell itself. Nowadays, we treat music as a product. We package it and then we brand it, we sell it. This demands for what? This demands for mass strategies in order to do what? To push your market to push your, your, your music, I mean to market your music. Now, this is where now it comes into place that you need a management, right? You need social media channels and uh, of course you need to establish uh, relations with what? Uh, media, uh, uh, media stations, right? Okay, now I have identified that most of the young and upcoming musicians or even uh, uh, veteran musicians from the coast have actually not embraced this idea. Most of, the, most of them actually have the narrative that they just want to be known as the kingpins of music from the coast. That doesn't happen like that. We understand that each and every musician is actually talented or gifted in his art. So you cannot say that uh, you want to be the coast uh, uh, king of music when you are doing Zikilanazi. You know, Zikilanazi is different from rap music, right? There's someone who, is, who will actually be extremely good in uh, rap music. Uh, there's someone who will be extremely good in uh, Afropop music from the coast. So you cannot claim to be a king, but what can you do to make sure that actually you have a place and everyone actually does uh, what is necessary? The thing is, you need to work hard. Presenters don't do what? Don't sell music. Because that is the most uh, uh, ideology or fallacy that uh, musicians uh, from the coast do. All they think of is go to a recording studio, produce music, be friends with a presenter in, a, in an FM station, take that to the presenter, rally your fans on your Facebook to actually vote for you so that you become a Tanobora Satano Chats. Eh? And then after being played for like a, a month, that music doesn't go anywhere. No. Good music has the capacity to go far, but it is as a result of strategies yeah? and efforts because uh when you sorry to say that when you listen to some of the upcoming uh, musicians from the coast actually some of their music actually doesn't meet the, the standards but it gets airplay simply because of what i think because of favor or sympathy from presenters and all that and uh, you can guarantee me that uh, if you if you don't appreciate a person who criticizes you, who tells you like, uh, you know, you can do new good music, but please uh, check on this and that. You see, anyone who just advises you, ah, when mkali, when mzuri bana, eh, ngoma ako ikom. Even if the, the the song is pathetic, he just uh, uh, no, he does, he's not being sincere to you. By the end of the day, you get the, the, the you get the, the the depression or you get the the. the the sinking feeling that you've been doing music for quite some time and you haven't gotten anywhere. It is simply because the people who were actually uh, uh, were in place of advising you never did that. Simply because when you were Sarni, when you criticize them, when you were wedding by, you were a partner, you were a partner, who is he to advise me when the majority of the people have actually told me that. Uh, I'm good at my art. So you'll find that that person at Toa Ngoma will never send you to listen to it. But uh, let me congratulate or let, let me point out that in Mombasa Music, uh, Mombasa Music is actually 
way much better than Nairobi music. And I'm not being uh, uh, <laughs> biased in this eh? because uh, uh, Mombasa music has its own touch eh? and its own taste, uh, akin to that of uh, uh, bongo music. And that explains to why uh, uh, big musicians like Susumila, uh, Ali B, and uh, even uh, Esko Bababake for taste with the boy, and even my boy, uh, 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 my boy, uh, Su and Ronan Masauti, not for, to, to, to forget mentioning Kimpesa Mswaz, are actually doing good in, in, in this industry. Big up. I see potential in them. Yeah. So, the thing is, please work hard. Don't joyride on your music being played or being carried on your backs by presenters. Presenters just make their work because it's their work to play for you songs, right? But, true to say, they cannot take your music far than just playing it on their shows. So thank you for having your <laughs> guy saying the master kid. Please keep on watching on my YouTube channel. There's something coming up. How was that?